Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Meditating Human. And this week we're going to focus on the fifth dimension. So I've already spoken about the third and fourth dimension. So the material world being the third dimension, the uh, magical world being the fourth dimension. You can go back and take a look at um, each series. This week will be the fifth dimension. We're going to wrap up with the fifth dimension. And so the fifth dimension is also referred to as the miraculous world. And dimensionally, uh, the fifth dimension is a step up from the magical world. And makes sense, right? Fourth dimension, fifth dimension. It's just the next step, the next level uh, where uh, we're all trying to get to. And the possibilities on the fifth plane actually, actually are now presenting themselves to to humanity, presenting themselves to us, presenting itself to us. Um, which is why, as you all know, hearing a lot of talk about shifting to the fifth dimension and everyone raising their vibration and raising their frequency to match the fifth dimension so that you can ascend to the fifth dimension, which is, I don't know about you, but is my goal, assuming that we're not already here. Um, it's interesting because I think that... Um, and, and a lot of stuff, let me backtrack, a lot of stuff that I've been reading and listening to and just the downloads that I've gotten during my meditations, you know, I've been told that initially when we ascend, whoever we are, when we ascend to the fifth dimension, we're not, it's our minds that are ascending, not necessarily our bodies in the beginning, like at some point it'd be the bodies and then at some point the bodies will fade away, right? Um, and so, but initially it's going to be the mind. The mind is what's going to ascend. But that also means that the body, the physical body is still here and having to deal with physical things, physical issues. But how you know that you are in the fifth dimension is that, and, and problems may not immediately disappear. They may not just all four because we still... Um, but still, there's some things, there's some things we're still learning, right? And, and we're still mastering just because we have transitioned to the fifth dimension doesn't mean that we've mastered everything. It means that we are, we mastered enough. We've raised our vibrations, our frequency enough that we are on a consistent basis aligned with this dimension. But you'll realize that you're here because because they said they, the people that I have listened to, paid attention to online, it, and it lines up with the downloads that I've gotten. I've, I've gotten. And the thing about it is, uh, it's, I've gotten the downloads first and then I happen to come across these things on YouTube and it's confirmed. It just confirmed what my guides are telling me. So ask your own guides, take it for what it is, whatever, whatever resonates with you. Right. And so life will seem a little bit easier. It won't be as pointed. It won't be as harsh. Like the issues, some issues, not some, but issues may still pop up, but we're at a space where we either see it or we quickly learn our we, we quickly learn the lesson that we're supposed to learn from that particular issue and quickly move on from it we are less inclined to getting stuck and creating a loop and so the fifth dimension i i you know i'm trying to be as realistic as possible because it's not that you are that we are going to or may already be here to be really honest with you um 
that we are in the fifth dimension is not that you're going to get there or when you get there that you are just now living in you know the garden of eden you're living on you know in this utopia it's not that just yet but it is things going a little bit more smoothly it is people places things that don't serve you falling away and you being able to let it go assuming most of that which probably have most of that probably fell away when you ascended to the fifth dimension because we're already here we are already here which is why it's even more important not to create or get caught up in any loops and any lessons that are presented to you you learn those lessons and you keep it moving and don't allow for that energy don't get caught up in negative energy don't allow for that to bring you down and push you back I don't know about you but after being in the fifth dimension because there are times like I've just been I've been back and forth between the fifth dimension the fourth dimension the fifth dimension the fourth dimension and like I kept saying the third dimension but after like doing the research I'm like no I'm not in the third dimension I'm in the fourth dimension um just like a lot of people and so like I feel the shift the fifth dimension the fourth dimension and like the fourth dimension like I know that I I know that I'm there because everything is just a misery everything is just like oh my god it's like everything goes wrong and I'm like I don't know why I'm back here well not that's a lie I know that I'm back there because what my guides have told me is that my body is getting accustomed to the energy of the fifth dimension. And so I spend a lot of time, I've spent a bunch of time in the fifth dimension and then I fall back so just, just so my body could acclimate, right? Acclimate that energy. And then once it's acclimated, it just it goes right back. It shifts back. And they said at some point, it just won't shift back. It will just be what is because your body, uh, to a large extent, to some degree, it's fully acclimated to that energy. And whatever additional, um, whatever additional ascending that needs to happen, uh, to, to, to get me to that, to that point will happen here, will happen in 5D. Um, but my body will be able to take it. My body will be able to take that new energy while being in this higher frequency, while being in this higher vibration. And so, yay, is it, you know, uh, again, this, you know, utopia, this Garden of Eden? No, not fully. The point is to, to, to make it that, right? Because our bodies are still physically here. Our bodies are still in the physical. I am still learning what 5D means. And so, you know, we're going to learn together. But... That's why I say that, you know, 5D is now presenting itself to us because we're here. And a lot of people are shifting. It is the great awakening. A lot of people are shifting into the fifth dimension. And so going outside, you know, it's interesting because like going outside on a clear night and looking up at the star and I'm, I'm noticing that there are more stars in the sky, which is interesting. Like the sky is clear. I'm noticing there are more stars in the sky, you know? And then like, I find my mind wandering to, I wonder what's up there. I wonder what's there. I wonder what's going on on the other planets. Um, and knowing that having that connection, even though at least not in my waking state, because we, we all do loads of traveling in our, in our, um, in our ethereal, in our astral. Um, we do a lot of traveling when our bodies are sleeping, but feeling that connection with the stars, with the universe, with the planets, with those other planets, feeling that connection, knowing that we're not alone, knowing that we're not by ourselves, knowing that there are other beings there. Um, but interestingly, like feeling that 
connection and not feeling freaked out by it but like it's it almost feels it feels it makes me feel secure honestly um but having that experience is now starting to happen we're going to pick this up next time until next time dear hearts love and light bye